What's going on guys? Come to back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. You can see it on the screen, baby. 300 program stars we have completed the seventh inning program. So we are ready to start getting gameplay with our first boss signature 99 overall player. I asked on Twitter. Y'all seem to be the most interested in the new Tom Seaver. So that's exactly who we're going to start out with and get our first gameplay with today. 123 near maxed out stamina. 98 hit 9, 104 K9, 88 walk 9, 91 home runs per nine four seam fastball sinker slider 12 six change up pretty much the epitome the best of the best the cream of the crop whatever you want to call it for a pitch repertoire does not get much better than tom siever right here very excited to be trying him out and if you guys are as well make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you guys are new definitely would appreciate it like i said i'm gonna get gameplay with all of these guys hopefully they turn out pretty well i definitely think that they got some sloppy seconds from the last sixth inning program with Griffin. Griffey, Piazza, and Jackie, but hopefully they're going to surprise us, and they're good as hell. Oh my god, about time. We get Tom Seaver against Kershaw. This guy's got a really good team. I'm excited to see what Tom Seaver can destroy this lineup with. Whenever I do these pitching debuts, you guys know I always face subscribers, and I really enjoy playing people with better teams because it's more of a challenge. I don't want to face a bum. For at least, I want to show that this card is damn mighty fine. Travis 12-6 curveball the Al K line great pitch right there 0-2 count I think we're gonna work back out with the slider hopefully we can try to ring him up a good amount of control on this Tom Seaver something I definitely look at how the hell did he even hit that my guy is doing lunges towards the baseball and he makes some sort of contact stop it. Lou Gehrig right here 0-2 count let's go fastball up high see if we can get him to chase that was not up high that was at chest height and he destroyed that hoe into the gap 64 speed easy double what the hell was that go to any thesaurus look up synonyms of high you're never gonna find that pitch within there donaldson makes the scoop and gets out piazza okay it doesn't matter pitching with Seaver is gonna be a challenge on its own we gotta face kershaw first pitch tony gwynn in his new leadoff spot who needs each row anyway i do <laughs> But yeah, it's going to be hard enough using Seaver to pitch against that lineup. We also got to do work against Kershaw and a nice single right there. We're looking pretty good offensively to open up the gates. We got Griffey, I believe his first game back on the team since that one. Tony Gwynn is going to tack it down. We get one run, but that's not going to be enough. We got to keep on the gas pedal. Duke Schneider, we leave a slider. Jackie Robinson with the dive, and he's going to make the play. Oh my god, what a hell of a web gem right there. 0-2 count, see we're going to go with the slider inside. Damn, what you swinging at, my guy? That almost could have hit you. That's the kind of pitch you just got to lean your big voluptuous thighs into and just take it like a man and walk on to first base. Ozzie Smith is going to send that one up the middle. There we go. A lot of times I struggle right away off Kershaw. We're going right at him. I think we tried to run with Ozzie Smith. He is kind of ready for it. Jim Edmonds, we took a glance at that one. He's not going to catch it. There we go, Jim Edmonds. What a hell of a hit. Lefty on lefty crime. Big RBI double. Damn, that escalated quickly. I wasn't even planning on doing a hit and run. I just wanted to get a stolen base. But we got an RBI. All right, Tony Gwynn come through for... That is no, get back, get back, get back. No, we're toasty easily. He didn't try to tag me. <laughs> Damn, how do you even get to be that lazy? You had the ball right there. And all you'd have to do is put your glove on the ground. Is he going to do it again? Okay, that time he got some awareness. How am I that dumb? Well, what was going to be a surefire way of scoring a run, now we're going to have to work for it. Tony Gwynn on the ground, and we can't score another. Slider, Omar Vizquel going to ground that one off to Lou Gehrig. Tom Seaver is not quite fast enough to get there. You got to do some more sprints. You just cannot let that happen. He's really going to try to do a button run. We don't get our throwing meter up. Always love to see that. And he's still going to try to bunt, do a button run. This time, you're toast, my guy. Burnt like toast. Gotta try to abuse the high sinker. In previous years, this pitch would never work. But, of course, on the Metropolis, that is MLB The Show 19. It's the best pitch of the game. Finally, slider away, Tom Seaver. Blow it right by him. Quick wits. 
Lou Gehrig, I don't know if we got quite all of that one. This is a short porch and it is off the wall. He does not know what's happening. He's on every hallucinogen in the game. 64 speed, even Lou Gehrig's in there for a triple. I don't know what was up with Tony Gwynn out in right field. He was tripping balls. Huge spot for Griffey, 2-1 count. Gotta come through, get this run in. If it's not there, do not hit that damn X button. Griffey ground ball right over to second base and well I just gotta thank my lucky stars that I'm actually pitching quite well with Tom Seaver in this game so I guess it doesn't matter that we didn't come through. At some point we're gonna have a dialogue. There is a large standing conspiracy theory. If you ever talk good about any pitcher they are automatically guaranteed to give up a home run the next pitch right after. Putting cameras in PS4s, I mean, damn, don't you think you could use that for something better like catching pedophiles? Instead, no, we're just going to make me give up home runs in a video game. Fastball up to Alamar, going to break his bat. Seaver, show me that good D. Oh, God, pause. All right, you know what? It's cool. We're hitting Kershaw. As long as we keep doing the same thing, there should be no issue. Yeah, he's definitely going to try to keep Ozzy a lot closer this time. Edmonds lefty on lefty crushes this one again. It's going over the wall this time, baby. Two-run blast. Damn, Jackie looking like he just got done in the trenches in World War II. How the hell is your jersey that dirty in the fourth inning? Tony Gwynn's going to send the one the other way, and it is out number three. Tom Seaver heading into his fifth inning of work, really enjoying him so far. I think he has a good amount of movement on these pitches and is definitely hard to hit. Lou Gehrig, just a tough animation right there, going to get a leadoff single. Now he's not going to run slider to Omar Vizquel, going to send that in the gap. And he's got speed to run. This is a disaster. He is going to score at least one Griffey, not great animation. And it's going to be a two-run ball game. Joe Morgan batting now for Clayton Kershaw. Rips that real hard. Tony Gwynn, is he going to try to run with Omar Vizquel? Yes, he is. I believe he's going to get in there. One out, runner on third. Let's see, what can we pull out of our bag of tricks right here? It doesn't matter. Ground ball to Ozzy Smith. It's a one-run game. Damn, Sieber. Sinker, great pitch right there to start off Al Kaline. It's tough to say. I don't think he is necessarily leaving these pitches in bad spots. I think he is just having good hitting. That's really all there is to say for it. You know, sometimes when I'll do pitching debuts, I can tell that a guy is just hanging a lot of pitches and they're flat. That's not the case with Sieber. Billy Wagner into the game now, replacing Kershaw. Not going to lie, I really despise facing him. He's really thrown a bunch of those fastballs so far. Gets me on a curveball. Oh, we cannot afford to stall offensively now if he's going to go on a charge. Curveball to start off Lou Gehrig right there to Jack UB. Still hold a one-run lead, but I'm not going to lie. I don't feel exactly comfortable. Fastball, Alomar should be an easy one right there for Edmonds. We're going to get out of it. We got to start scoring some runs. We're not going to be able to hold a one-run lead all game. Jim Edmonds, once again, he has another one. He is going off two home runs, both against lefties. What the hell got into this game? 76 pitches. Tom Seaver still has a good amount of energy. I do not plan on taking him out at all right now. He's still pitching pretty effective. Not too many strikeouts tonight from Seaver. Let's see a fastball up and in. There we go. That's only our third strikeout. Going to freeze Omar. One thing I will say for sure that is not helping out my case, my opponent has been very late and very early on a lot of pitches with two strikes that's saving him, particularly that one with Omar Vizquel that he ended up getting a double. He had about five foul balls previously, just like that. Very rarely throw this pitch, easy ground ball to Jackie. Nice game so far from Seaver, seven innings, three runs. You know, I always say the true testament to how good a pitcher is. Can he swing the shtick no matter his offensive attributes? Tom Seaver, it's going to be a no. Two-run lead, another would not hurt right here. Tony Gwynn, do we have another lefty on lefty home run to the wall? What the hell? Tony Gwynn is on some other shit. Whatever he's having, I'll have the same thing. We just scamper back. 
Tony Gwynn, do we have a stolen base right there? We're going to get into third base. The cost is a strikeout, two runs, runner on third. A base hit is going to give us another run for Sweet Lou. And why? What makes me swing at a pitch like that the first one? Like, damn, can you guys imagine how raw I'd be at this game if I had a functioning frontal cortex? Fastball up high and away on the black. There we go, Seaver. He's dealing now. Fastball, Lou Gehrig, Jim Edmonds not quite going to be able to get to that one. He's going to get a two-out single. Just got to be careful. Lean towards that sinker first pitch, and he's going to bite. Easy one pitch, ground out to Donaldson. Heading into the bottom of the eighth inning, if we can get some insurance runs, that'd probably be needed. Griffey, another one. I think we got it. Lefty on lefty. Something is just happening right now. That's where we're doing all our damage. Solo shot. Three run lead. Does Jim Edmonds Ooh. have anything left in store? My good God. He has hit another one off all Rotus Chapman. Lefty on lefty. I'm getting tired of saying it. It feels redundant, but every time I am surprised like hell. Coming into the ninth with a five-run lead, Tom Seaver, you'd really have to F shit up for me to take you out. Nice sinker is going to be an easy fly ball to Jim Edmonds. Do we have no Ozzy Smith? Not quite going to get to that one. He is going to have a single. I'm like 99% sure he's going to try to steal right here. Yes, we snuffed it out entirely, and we should have him. You've got to be kidding me. 90, 99 fielding Ozzy Smith is just not going to tag him. Like, that wasn't even close. I had the ball there a mile and a half before he even got to second base. And he's just like, nah, I don't feel like it. 12-6 curveball right there to Edmonds. Not really going to have to move. Hopefully, he doesn't score another one. I'll be pissed if that tarnishes Seaver's ERA even more. And then go with the slider right here, Omar Vizcal. Griffey's going to be able to make that play, and we get out of here. Quality start, three runs given up in a nine-inning performance from Seaver. But let's talk about Jim Edmonds for a second. My God, four for four, three home runs, six RBI. Seaver was pretty good. He didn't strike out that many. Only four strikeouts. Did not give up a walk. I do think his control is pretty good. The only reason that he might have struggled a little bit is I think my opponent got a little bit bailed out. A little hay bails every now and again. But overall. But if you guys enjoyed this one want to see more Dominant Dynasty gameplays in the future. Leave a like down below on this video. Tomorrow I want to have Andre Dawson gameplay out. And the following day will be Jeff Bagwell. So if you guys are excited for that one. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. But guys, the greatest today. There goes some Saudi. Love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory.